where I left off in episode three. I had just left Meziaden Lake and had a short little visit to the little town of Stewart. And I am now northbound on the Cassier Highway with the hopeful destination of Peace Lake. Tent sites? What? You have any tent sites? What do you recommend? No tent sites. Any place around here? North. For Kids Lions Club. How far is that? Four miles. Okay. I made it to Deese Lake a little bit late, like uh, seven o'clock or so, but still daylight. You can see the lake down there. Here's the uh, campground. And I got some neighbors. I bumped into these guys at a gas station a couple clicks back. And we've got um, Jim right here. Hey, Hi, Jim. And Dan. And uh, these gentlemen are on Triumphs. And they're, they're heading up north also on a little trip. And they are from, where are you guys from? Montreal. 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 Yeah. yeah. So they they speak uh, Francais. <laughs> so, yeah. so we're gonna be hanging out tonight, drinking beer and whiskey, and sitting by the fire and and uh, telling war stories probably. All right. Yeah. Look. What is that? What is that beer you got? Now what did you just say? 
Kokeni? No, he said that he don't doesn't want to lose the uh, the Rockies. Oh, there's some people who don't want to split from Canada, so it's a kind of whole joke. We don't want yeah. to lose a Rockies. So oh, that's gotcha. That's why we don't to stick to Canada. Okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. Well, good morning, everyone. I am just leaving Waters Edge Campground at Dees Lake in British Columbia. Had a real good evening with. Uh, guys that I met from Quebec that are also on an adventure ride and uh, we had a good time hanging out at the fire good night's sleep 7 30 in the morning I'm heading to Yukon so good morning I'm here in Jade City on the Cassier Highway in British Columbia. This place is known for all the jade, we're gonna go take a look at it. But um, I left uh, about an hour and a half ago from camp. And unfortunately I don't have a lot of GoPro batteries charged up right now, so I'm not being able to film a lot. But uh, let's check this place out. Take a look. So how long has this store been in existence? This store specifically, 23 years. My grandpa nice. started this business 50 years ago. So it's been family uh, owned and run for 50 years. Yeah. Jade store. And then this little, it's a family owned operation. So I think this bear owned the road. It just sat there and stared me down and wouldn't let me pass for about a whole minute. I went to Watson Lake in Yukon Territory just to visit this signpost forest. It's a famous place that just has a whole bunch of signs posted and it's about a whole city block long. Okay, I'm here at the Quality Inn and uh, loading up to go. I met my friend here, Wing Wingnut. Yeah. Hey, Wingnut. Yes, mate. How's How you doing? Man? You live here, Wingnut? I live here for now. Yeah. Just yeah. taking it easy. What do you do? I'm just making some core boxes here and there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Try to stay alive without getting jumped too many times. You okay, know? well. I'm take... a white boy, then they like white people. They like to fuck up white people. Oh know? well, get stronger, man. Okay, burst it over. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Nice meeting you, Wingnut. All right, so back to my trip. So I. Uh, didn't get a lot of filming yesterday, all the GoPro batteries were dead, but I uh, managed to make it uh, here to Whitehorse. Got up this morning, it's raining. Um, I debated staying or taking the rain and going to Dawson City, so <laughs> anyway, I'm loaded up, I'm going to Dawson City. I found my favorite uh, coffee place. Unfortunately, it's only in Canada. Yeah, that place makes a great latte and a, a cream-filled donut for $3.75 US dollars, pretty amazing. Anyway, I'm here in Whitehorse. It looks like it's uh, kind of a celebration day today. It's Canada Day. I just had about eight horseback riders come through the drive through at Tim Horton. Anyway, on to Dawson City. I had my uh, Tim Horton coffee. I'm now leaving Whitehorse. And I'm uh, going to hit the highway here. And on my way to Dawson. Continue on the current road.
I made it to Dawson City. It's the hotel I'm staying at right here. It's really nice. A cute little downtown. So it is uh, Sunday morning. I think it's July 2nd. And uh, I am in, if you can't tell, Dawson City in the Yukon. So the road here, the highway ends at the river, the Yukon River, and the only way to get to the other side is by ferry. So that's where I'm going, um, and I, it looks like you got to wait in line for the ferry, and it's free. And just on the other side is a campground I want to get to, and that's where I'm going to camp. Well, we'll see how this goes. Found me a nice campsite. That is the Yukon River. And this is my campsite. I think it's like 20 bucks and free firewood. Good morning. So I think this is day 14, Monday, July uh, 3rd. Uh, today's journey is gonna be to um, either Toke or Delta Junction see how far I can get and I just had one question for anybody out there that can answer this does anybody know bugs sleep because the last couple of days I think that I have become one with the mosquitoes as we end episode four here's some sampling of some of the wildlife that I've met so far so stay tuned for episode five where I actually may cross the border into Alaska